Duck Bath Punch, Bear Witness, and Rum DMC. Oh. <laughs> Pretty creative, right? Those are a couple of the unique cocktails that you will find at Bitter and Twisted. I like the Rum DMC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm the king of rock. <laughs> well, the popular downtown bar is getting noticed worldwide. Kylie Cruz heard there were drinks down there, and where do you think she wanted to go? She sprinted down there. I don't even think the crew <laughs> drove, her, drove her there. Good morning, guys. You know, this is one of my favorite places to be. In fact, Hunter, our producer back at the station who's running the show, I was just here with him a couple of days ago. Ross is joining us now. He is the barman here. And you guys... I mean, this is so cool because this is one of my favorite spots, but now you're on a worldwide scale. I mean, you're nominated for best cocktail menu. How does it feel? Um, exciting and nervous being in <laughs> the company of giants, shall we say. Giants, you know, New York, London, all of that. So we're going to take the next few minutes and tell you what makes this place so unique. And what do you think it is that, you know, makes you guys a little bit different than some of the other places you can grab drinks in town? Well, I think, you know, going by the cocktails and the garnishes and all that kind of thing, I, I think it's just keeping it fun. We're, we're serious about the drinks, we, uh, what we make, but we don't take ourselves too seriously. And we're just trying to give people a really comfortable environment to drink a really nice balanced cocktail. Okay, speaking of drinking, let's get started. What is this bad boy? This is a lit up, so it's a kind of re-envisioned Long Island iced tea. So there's no Coke in it, but like we've used flavors to kind of replicate that fla flavor and essence of Coke. And then we've used some kind of uh, better, more grown up ingredients that you're used to. And then we kind of finish it off in our lovely little Coke can here. Oh, we like that. So you put up, and this is how you serve it in this Coke can? Yeah. So we carbonate it. That's why it's so fizzy. So we put all the ingredients in, and then we carbonate it. And then, uh, yeah, just save it up with the uh, kind of, once again, really fun. Tell me about some of the other drinks, because you have some. I mean, if you look at these drinks, they're all so unique. Yeah, like uh, in the teacup here, we have the uh, clarified milk punch. So basically, that takes a couple of days to make. So we actually, it starts off cloudy and not clear. And after the clarification, it actually uh, turns clear like that. And we've got a lovely hand-carved ice cube. Uh, we've got a rum DMC with a passion fruit foam and a wonderful rum flavors going on. My, one of my favorites, the Bear Witness. Uh, yuzu marmalade, Kikori Japanese style whiskey, a little Lefroy, and um, lemon and grapefruit juice. Um, something refreshing for every day. I love that, and like, you need that. Yeah, like every day, it's like no seasonality. It's just like warm all the time. Uh, we've got Mr. Hendrix, which is like wonderful cucumber and citrus, and then uh, some shareable drinks down there too. Speaking of shareable drinks, I've got somebody that I could actually share a cocktail with, and he's kind of a big deal in town. Yeah, the mayor, Mayor Greg Stanton, joining us now. Mayor, you know, Ross was saying the mayor's coming, and I thought you were coming for happy hour or something, but you literally are here uh, to say hello. 8.30 on a Friday morning, I get to hang out the best cocktail parlor in the world. I got a great job. You do have a great job. So you like to come here when you're not hard at work. Uh, tell me why you like this place. Well, what Bitter and Twisted has done for downtown Phoenix is just added such a task touch of class and panache and sophistication. It's really taken the cocktail parlor market to a whole new level. It's in a historic building, so if you look around, you get to feel the history of Phoenix and obviously what Ross has done to provide some of the best drinks in the world. Don't ask me. Uh, <laughs> they just got nominated for one, being one of the top 10 high volume cocktail parlors in the world right here in downtown Phoenix. So he's really bringing prestige to Phoenix. And I wanted to come down and say thank you. OK, Mayor, I'm going to ask you to do something before we go. I always know you're up for a, for a challenge. This probably is the most interesting request from the media because you get a lot of requests. Can we share this drink? It's a virgin cocktail, so we're both OK to take a little sip. Is that cool? Why not? Let's do it. I'm here. <laughs> so cheers to Friday. Cheers to Bitter and Twisted. And cheers to Mayor Stanton. Mm. Sure it is, yeah, Kylie. Sure it is. Don't be tricking Mr. Mayor <laughs> uh -huh. now. <laughs> Thank <Great> you. <laughs>